This is the wondrous Salish Sea. These beautiful kelp forests form the foundation of the Salish Sea. They protect and sustain the whole ecosystem by providing habitat to many creatures from tiny sea stars to forage fish, which sustain the southern resin orcas whom we all love. We have been freediving these cold jade waters since 2015, and during this time, we've witnessed some pretty drastic changes within this important ecosystem. We'll show you. Take a big breath, dive down with us. Come, have a look for yourself. In 2018, we assisted the Searching for Chinook film crew with their underwater scenes. And as you can see from this archived footage, the kelp forests were plentiful in the Limecombe Dead Man's Bay area. Just two years later, in the exact same spot, there is virtually no kelp remaining. The kelp forests in the Salish Sea have been disappearing, and the sea star wasting disease that began in September of 2013 seems to be a major reason why. It may seem strange but this catastrophic event directly impacts the southern resident orcas. Forage fish and juvenile salmon depend upon the kelp forest habitat for their survival, and the southern resident orcas depend on those very salmon for their own survival. Everything is connected. To better understand what is happening, we immerse underwater and spend as much time as we can in these kelp forests, observing and collecting data through photography for various science organizations to assist their efforts to restore the intrinsic kelp forests. We have found two major findings while freediving, disappearing kelp forests and prolific booming populations of sea urchins spanning all across the ocean floor voraciously chewing away at the kelp forests. The sea star wasting disease affected all sea stars, but sunflower sea stars are the stars of the Salish Sea because they are the only predator that feasts on sea urchins. The sea star wasting disease wiped out 90% of the sunflower star population and the urchins have been left unchecked voraciously consuming kelp, which has led to an alarming reduction in kelp forests. This is what an urchin baron looks like. Without kelp forests, which sequester carbon dioxide, help combat climate change and provide dynamic habitat to a multitude of forage fish who are left vulnerable to predation, the whole ecosystem is drastically unbalanced. This makes the recovery of the sunflower sea star a major cornerstone solution. So how do we bring back the amazing sunflower sea stars from the brink of extinction? What we're attempting to do here is to uh, raise a new generation of sea stars in the lab as a way of trying to understand the life cycle of this species that seems to be really important in the ecosystem and also uh, as a possibility of seeing whether if we can raise them in the lab maybe with a lot of discussions and permission and so forth uh, it might be possible to reintroduce them to the wild in areas where they've disappeared. So that's a little sea star. The reason that we're doing this is we're hoping that our efforts in some way can help in the process of uh, a recovery of the sunflower star and ultimately, you know, recovery of the health of uh, um, ecosystems like the kelp forest that are under threat right now. Jason is doing an amazing job cultivating baby sea stars and of these tiny sunflower stars of hope who will potentially inhabit these cold waters he has yet to fully understand where to place them in locations where they will live and thrive. Here is where you make a difference. Whether you are wandering the tide pools at low tide or diving underwater, the sea stars, the kelp forest, herring, salmon, and orcas all need your help by observing and documenting sea stars where and when you see them. And this way, we can all work together to amass a collection of sea star data along the west coast from Baja to Alaska. We are asking for all citizen scientists just like you to find out where sea stars are thriving. Our group effort will help the scientists to better understand the mysteries of the strange phenomenon of the sea star wasting disease, which will allow for hopeful solutions to protect and save the whole ecosystem. It's always a magical and exciting moment to find a sea star above or underwater. And if you are like us, go explore the beautiful ocean and look for sea stars. 
And when you see them, take a picture and log the data you find at www.cstarwasting.org. Let's all go over there right now and see just how it all works. You can either directly go to the website or simply go through the link in our profile on Instagram. Now, it is just a matter of filling in the blanks. Begin with the date, location, and state. This next part seems kind of intimidating, but it's actually quite easy. We need to know the latitude and longitude of where you acquired your Sea Star data. So let's go over to Google Maps. If you click on the spot you found the Sea Star, Google Maps will give you the exact coordinates. Well, that wasn't so bad. You can now simply copy and paste the coordinates into the blanks, scroll down for the remaining questions, and mark no if you don't know the answers or leave it blank. The bottom is very important though, where it asks for your name and email address. That way, if the scientists have questions on your findings, they can reach you to inquire about your important discoveries. There's also a place for comments, but we highly recommend you follow up with a picture of your sea star by clicking on the email and leaving your notes in the body of that email. Just like that, you're protecting and saving sea stars, which saves kelp forests, which saves salmon, which saves southern resident orcas. Good job, you! When we love something, we protect it, and all together, fin to fin, just like the orcas we all love, our collective actions make a big difference. Thank you for your help, and never forget you make all the difference in saving our beautiful world. Todo la vida bailan para mí. Todo familia bailan para mí. Todo la vida. Bailan para mí, todo familia, bailan para mí. Las estrellas bailan para mí, el sol y luna bailan para mí. Todo la selva baila para mí, todas las plantas bailan para mí. Todo familia, todo familia, bailando ya, bailando.